I'm tired of Orlando not being taken seriously as a credible art community. You know what I mean? Like the amount of talent that, that we have in Orlando from all the different little segments of the community. You know, you've got like the city art stuff, you've got like all the little, the myriad of, of uh, breweries that are doing things and like the little little places that are doing shows too. Like there's so much talent here, man. It's like all every single artist that lives in Orlando is lucky to have a win. And like we just want to be able to have our shot and try and bring some fire and try and bring some love to, to a, another portion of this, this great city that like we love each other's work. We admire each other's um, skill. So basically, um, we've been like, uh, what you call it, like, kind of like, if you want to say, scouting yeah. for like All right. All right. a team. I mean, it was months ago. They reached out. They're like, hey, we're going to do this. And um, we found a spot. You know, we want to do this really cool uh, marketing theory for it to you know, inspire people to be like, oh, what is that? Instead of just blatantly showing what it was, which was quite interesting. It was definitely a different take on marketing. Um, so I thought that that was interesting. Uh, then they wanted me to bring my A game, which was nice. It's, I think being, not having as much of an outlet as I usually do for art, this was nice when someone's telling you to push your boundaries and to yeah. create something uh, that I haven't created before. And I did. Some of the pieces here are some of the first time I've used media that I've never used before. So, right. uh, who are some of the people you're out here to see tonight? Ken Humphrey, um, Barrett. Uh, just got to meet Warren for the, officially for the first time. Yeah. But I've been a fan of his work, yeah. and uh, I've met some of the other artists here and there. So Gink Goff, definitely have met them in the, yeah. in the circle. The, the seven people we got together, which is why the show's like seven, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, I think that personality-wise and stylistically. As far as medium uh, goes as well, I think those three things we play it and feed off of each other so well uh, in those aspects that like it's it has to look good up there, you know? Because yeah. it's like part of the reason we did this thing, like full you know full disclosure on this part of things is like the part of the reason we ended up whittling it and down to this is we've we've tried to do this at other places with other people. And it just kind of like it falls flat, or like there's there's always something that's not lining up properly. So we came here, and Castle Church was gracious enough to allow us the space here to do things. And they've been more open armed and open minded about things we want to do here than any other place we've ever been. to have an option for all different types of people. And part of our faith uh, is about yeah. radical hospitality. I love um, that. And being inclusive and inviting of every single person because we know that they contribute to the diversity and That's the awesome. community that makes us strong. It's just, it's a really laid back atmosphere. You know, yeah. They're really cool, they're happy to talk to you about whatever, it's really accepting, they're smiling when you come in. That's they're great. excited about what's going on in their in their location, and you know they're interacting with everybody. It's you don't get that in a quote unquote bar setting. It's normally give me your money, take your beer, and move along. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, really so we create we create space and the best beer to help people facilitate building community uh, and authentic relationships. We're a twenty barrel production brew house, and it means we can do about six hundred and twenty or thirty gallons of beer at a time. Wow. Uh, we have fifteen. To 17 beers on our menu here on tap, uh, and we brew them all in house. Most of our beers follow the traditional German Reinheitsgebot, which is a beer purity law for 1516, meaning we only use four ingredients. A few others will put in organic uh, cherries from a family farm, blueberries from a farm down in Bartow, right, right. seasonal type stuff, but for the most part, we focus on using the best ingredients. A lot of really hard work so we can make the best quality beer. The layout of design is incredible. It's very inviting. I think the aesthetics here are very open. 
I think awesome. the openingness, openness of this and the well-lit area allows it to be very inviting. So we started, uh, Castle Church started in a garage, oh, okay. and so we just kind of wanted to have a big garage theme and feel to it. In fact, sometimes on our tour we'll even tell people, welcome to the new big garage. <laughs> That's awesome. We have yoga and holy yoga four nights a week. Uh, we have Bible studies. We have um, rock and roll. You can hear a band playing behind us. Um, we do bigger shows, CrossFit events, wrestling tournaments, um, belly dancing contests. Comedy shows, Comedy shows. open mic nights. Yep. We try to have some fun, uh, engaging event every night of the week. And the exciting thing is just like this art show, we built this place so that people from the community with better ideas than us can come <laughs> and have a good time. And so we absolutely love that this building is getting utilized yeah. and people are drinking beer. Um, the amount of room that we have here is larger than I am used to. And with the push from the fellow artists to create bigger, better things, I see myself uh, creating larger pieces, doing things uh, not on one page, but multi-page pieces that I haven't push myself to do. Um, plan on doing a four by five foot piece that I, I've never done that large and so that's the next step I feel like in a place like this is accepting and inviting to that. They told me that they want more so yeah it's definitely um, nice to, to feel welcome in the place and have your art like featured like this. Everybody's loving it. It's very engaging. A lot of people have been like reading the, the bios and stuff yeah. and they've been asking for the artists, asking questions, asking for prices yeah. and all this other stuff and it's 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 a good turnout. I'm yeah. really proud of it. I'm excited for them. I saw the artists doing their rounds, talking to people, um, networking. It's great to see that kind of stuff. It's great to see all those support for them. Uh, not only their friends, but strangers. Yeah. You know, That's great. we had gotten some people that came up and was like, it's really nice to see the walls filled up. It's really nice to see the work, you know, and everybody right. was being like, they wanted to know. Like, it's amazing. Like, it's so cool how they have it all, like, laid out and everything. And it's it, it's, it shows the personalities of each person individually. Yeah. And it somehow works cohesively, even though it's very drastic differences in all their work. They took over a huge wall that was, you know, empty and drab, and they turned it into something absolutely beautiful. Uh, a lot of our regulars, a uh, few of them have already bought a couple pieces or put reservations on a couple pieces. Um, and everybody that's come in says, oh my God, you finally did something with that wall. It looks great. This is phenomenal. Originally, we were only going to have it for one night, and we were going to move it to the lounge side of the brewery, like, the next day but they saw how well everything looked up there and they were blown away by what it was we brought to the table and they are like instantaneously noticing like the, the clientele coming in and they are like, this is awesome. So they just gave us that wall. So now that that, that wall belongs to us and so we can go monthly, we're gonna do shows here. It's awesome. So it's not a one and done? It's not a one and done by any means. Last thing, yeah. what's the location? 6820 Hofner Avenue. We're just about a mile north of the Orlando International Airport.